Tax to gas fails. What do we do right now? Genuine Labs basically disappeared. We haven't seen anything. We haven't heard anything. We didn't pay them, so it doesn't really matter. But does that just mean that we're stuck? Well, the answer to that turns out is no, because enter Strathcole, enter Happy Caddy Crypto, enter Orbit Labs, and guess what? We got an improved version of a tax to gas type structure. Let's talk about all that and more. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's go. All right, so uh, in news, Orbit Labs pushes for forked module removal and reverse charge tax on Terra Classic. Orbit Labs has submitted a new proposal to the Luna Classic community, pushing to remove forked modules in the network standard upstream modules. It also supported another proposal for a reverse charge tax. Today, the Terra Classic code base relies on several forked version of Cosmos modules, which were integrated to accommodate some of its unique features. Orbit Labs claims that these forks have caused the code base to increasingly diverge from the upstream module, and this has kept the maintenance cost high. These forks have also made the network vulnerable to potential security attacks due to delayed updates and massively reduced interoperability with other networks based on the Cosmos code base. Orbit Labs added in its proposal, it proposes to remove the forked modules and integrate the standard upstream module. Company also pledged to support reverse charge tax in Terra Classic, a proposal that was first submitted by two other developers, reversing charge tax uh, deducts tax from the recipient rather than the sender, which is what we needed to begin with, uh, hence eliminates the need for the sender to attach tax as an additional fee. So that solves the problem of what we were dealing with before in that the, the tax, whatever uh, it comes out, is coming from you as the sender as opposed to the recipient. So um, that's going to change things quite a bit here, especially for DAP programming. Uh, companies offered to conduct a review under the terms of the PPG case. And by the way, uh, these guys have already been KYC'd. We got the verification of that. Um, so after assessing the code, the company will ensure it's secure and efficient and also aligns with the goals of the Terra Classic ecosystem. It says this process could cost as much as $2,500, pledging to accept lunk payment as the prevailing rate when the community approval uh, approves the proposal. Now, uh, this was uh, the documentation of that. Remember, we got standing body kind of sitting out here. There's no proposal for it yet, but it is out there. And uh, dealing with coin market cap and updating the links to coin market cap, those are the ones that have come up for governance right now, which it looks like this update links is not going to pass right there. But dealing with coin market cap by all nodes looks like it is going to pass. So uh, seems like there's a lot of excitement about that portion. Uh, we'll get a little clarity on it coming up very, very shortly. Now for price action, let's talk price. Uh, trading at four zeros 89, a lot of sideways action here. Now I'm not worried about sideways action. We've got, you know, probably through mid, through late part of October, all the way to Halloween before we would break the structure of this on a downward momentum. And we've got some range here. So it, it, to me, would seem like we're just about to break out and have that little rip that I'm talking about. And by the way, uh, when you see this right here with the little double test, you saw the same thing back down here, a little longer, but you saw the same thing. And then boom, that's when we got the big spike. So I would think that this pattern is somewhat liable to repeat itself. As long as we haven't broken any structure on whatever chart pattern we're moving in, uh, as long as we're holding that floor then that spike is probably inevitable. So we're going to get a spike pretty soon. And, you know, how far it goes, that remains to be seen. A lot of it. Remember, uh, when we first started pointing out this, we were talking about the end of October being where Terraform Labs does a lot of burns. And then going into the first week of November is when we get the first proposal from Ceramic for the repeg proposal that will consider uh, the burns. So there's a lot happening in the background. And now it's just a matter of time, I think, at this point. So that's what's going on with, with Luna Classic price. Uh, USTC <laughs> still just kind of ranging sideways, waiting for that next big upward momentum. Now, we haven't gotten that upward momentum yet. The broader market hasn't gotten that upward momentum. Now, we got a nice little surge from Bitcoin. But look, we got a surge here. We had a surge in Bitcoin. It, it all happened around the same times. So... You know, as we surge, as it as Bitcoin surges, so does the rest of the market until we have a breakout moment. That breakout moment, probably the announcement, some kind of announcement anyway, um, of some action, if you will, uh, from that repay. So that's what I think is going to end up happening. 
Uh, as far as volume goes, down 44% to 12 million, down 62% to 13 million on USTC. So uh, still uh, an okay amount of trade volume, I want to say. You know, not not great, but you know, not horrible. But it's just an example that retail, especially Asian retail, because Asian communities have loved Lung for a long period of time. Um, it, it's just an example that you know retail really has not returned fully to this market. Otherwise, we'd see a lot more activity here. So uh, that's what we're watching right now, and that's the way it's playing out. On to the rest of it. Garuda is up, is down 15% this week after the final pre-sale just released today. So now Garuda, which has been under some downward pressure because of pre-sale, is completed. And the pressure from pre-sale selling ends now. So let's go over here and look at it. Let's talk about what matters with Cryptonomy.finance. In 2024, we're prioritizing partnerships in synthetic assets and decentralized exchanges, enhancing our investment portfolio with innovative financial solutions and broader diversification opportunities. Also, Cryptonomy Ventures drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. Our entire financial team is engaged in scaling the selection process globally, ensuring we back companies poised for success and preparedness for market volatility. In light of the rapidly changing global landscape, our team has developed comprehensive plans to navigate upcoming events in the cryptocurrency market, regardless of the direction they may take. Given the number of significant political and economic developments that can create a sharp shift in the market, we are prepared for volatility in any form. If you understand me, you understand XRP. You'll see how many stakes I have on XRP. We're going to run this back one more time. All right, guys, that's been created. This is where the big yield comes from. We're going to add to this a new position here. You can see here, one of mine has completed so far. We're going to create a new contract. We're putting half a Bitcoin into our bronze level, which is a 50-50 profit sharing split. And now we're playing with power. Now, guys, I just want you to look at the yields that have been happening for the last little while. EigenPi was a 12x. Metavirus was a 2x. Trax was a 2x. Omnia was a 4x. Storm Trade was a 2x. These guys are getting you big yields and big returns on every single investment. All you have to do is give them an opportunity. Go to cryptonomy.finance and sign up today. Now, there is uh, an active giveaway which is available for every new deposit in fixed staking or in the launch pool contract until November 1st. So the official announcement is from today until November 1st, for every fixed staking deposit of 1,000 USDT or more launch pool contract created within this period, participants will receive a random bonus of 50 to 5,000 USD credited in the native token of the deposit. So if you deposit some XRP, you're going to get XRP as your reward. You deposit some Bitcoin, you're going to get Bitcoin as your reward. So all you have to do, make a deposit or create a launch pool contract, enjoy your staking benefits, and receive a random bonus directly to your deposit. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Sign up for cryptonomy.finance today. Now, you know, I am a holder. Um, I have 25000 and my, my 25000 it was $50. Now it's 41 I mean, that's really held up very well. Um, it, it, I mean, it's not great. You want, you want the price to go up. We, we all want price to go. We want price to go up, right? So, um, yikes. But... Uh, you know, overall, uh, this looks like that, you know, we, we've we've still kind of maintained a pretty good rate right here in this range right here. This is the value range to begin with. I mean, we don't have a val uh, we don't have a volume profile on here, but I mean, if we did, it, I assure you it would be there. Um, this is our volume range right now. We're wicking off of that volume range. You know, I think the next thing up is going to be to see a nice little surge here because there's no more sell pressure. Um, and you might get another one of these big spikes over here that we got before, uh, which would about 6x from where it is right now because there's no more sell pressure. So um, that's, a, that's a really good thing, by the way. And uh, down 12% in the last seven days. That's not terrible uh, when you're looking for something to reverse and break out. 826 people trading. So um, Garuda X, uh, if you haven't already, this is probably be a good buy opportunity. Uh, remember, it did spike way down here uh, a little while back through July and stuff like that after the big spike in, uh, what was it, December? And then in March again, uh, we had the nice downward momentum, which, you know, everybody kind of had that. Now we've got the reversal underway. Let's see what happens. As far as burns go, 251 million burned in the last 24 hours. Very insignificant amount of USTC being burned, not even worth going to look at. Cat with hat burn tracker is now up to 21.71 billion. So if you have a bag of cat with hat, you're welcome. 
Um, remember, we got it at 60 bucks. Here we are right now uh, trading. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, look at that thing breaking out. That is just a fantastic number right there. Uh, a big time breakout. Now, uh, drop another zero. Uh, if we drop another zero on this, it's going to be an epic, epic, epic sort of run. Uh, but it's all coming together, uh, locking itself into place. And by the way, remember, uh, Terra Casino, the sponsor of the channel, Terra Casino, is burning Cat with Hat right now uh, as part of their uh, Project Moon program to help to connect this thing with more audience to um, uh, reduce the supply to help the investors uh, with, with price pumps. So if you haven't, go check it out. Uh, until October 27th, another nine days, Pragmatic Plays giving away $11,000 a day in uh, uh, USDT uh, for Terra Casino. Also, you can win uh, 2 million euros, up to 2 million euros from World Poker League. And uh, you know what you can burn. You know what you can burn. You know. You can also play Los Muertos Locos. Make sure, click on the game uh, so that you can check in your region. This is brought to you by Red Tiger. Um, and make sure that it's, it's available in your region by testing it out. Make sure you test out terraport.finance. Why? Uh, we do have some information. Uh, I'm going to get clarity about whether I can reveal some of this information. So let's talk about this in closing. You know, there was a terraport.finance uh, hack a while back. You know what happened. You know that there were investigators that were involved. You know that the government was involved in trying to figure out what happened, okay? So um, right here is Terraport wrecked by DPRK. If anybody does not know what that is, that's the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The North Koreans. So I reported this to interchain.io right around this time. Never got a response. Uh, Mr. Zarko, this is what the North Korean workers do. It is their job. Can we please remove LSM right now? Um, United Nations panel said it's investigating 58 cyber attacks allegedly conducted by North Korean hackers that allowed attackers to rake in about $3 billion over a six-year plan. In a report released March 7th, it's now public record, by the way, uh, they're talking about what happened over here. Some of these attacks included $4 million from Terraport.finance. Now, remember, a lot of the dirtier people in our ecosystem were blaming the Terraport.finance people for doing this. The United Nations, under an investigation with uh, a, a bunch of different people, looked at the RGB uh, Kim Suki, the Lazarus Group, Andario, and Blue Noroff, and figured out, of course, most of those are through the same. It's all North Koreans, but they've tied all of these attacks. This was Terraport, Merlin Dex, Atomic Wallet, Alfapo, Coins Paid, Steadfi, um, Stake.com for 41 million, Coinex, and the Phantom Foundation for 7 million. So uh, that was going around. They were stealing money. But you, you were blaming uh, Rex YZ and you were blaming people like that. And these guys took a lot of heat for something that was not them. And if you did and you blamed them, then, you know, be who you are. But it should be known that the United Nations, in, a, um, in an investigation that they've con concluded here, 58 cyber attacks, each and every one of them, the North Koreans were the culprits behind it. So... Um, and then you can see here, there's a lot of people that are, and, and look, uh, this is, this is why publicly the team and I have taken a beating for this for nearly 18 months as we promised to keep this secret to assist and protect enforcement efforts and had to withstand a shit storm of false accusations and FUD. We did explain this many times and were FUDded for it. Personally, taking the hit allowed the team to rebuild with less distraction and in doing so gave investors a chance to recoup losses. So, um, shout out to these guys. Um, turns out you who said that they did it, you were a liar. And if you didn't, if you were just waiting, trying to figure it out, now you know what you're going to do with the information. What you should be doing is going to Terraport and trading some meme coins because that's where you go in order to trade all of the best meme coins with, lo with Lunk pairings. So um, don't hesitate. Go there today and check it out. Also, Garuda X might be ready to fly. Let's not forget that one. Rocket just completed its uh, next round. We've got another game, Lunk Zombies, having a promotional event. So, guys, check out this ecosystem if you haven't already. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.